If you genuinely care about your clients, it will show. They will know it. And they'll become raving fans and they'll tell everyone. Uh, being genuine isn't something that you practice and you learn. It's, it's not an art of someone said, well, how do I be nice? Or how do I act nice? It's, it's not a play. You don't act nice. You just actually have to be nice. And there's a difference. It's not something that can be practiced. You literally got to find it in your heart to be nice. And once you find that and you care, it'll show. It'll come through. And, and they'll see that. Because if you're not, if you're fake, like I said, some of your clients will, will still be clients for life. They'll buy it. But some of them are smarter than that. You've got four types of clients, basically. You, you've, got the, you've got the high-end leader, very powerful, outgoing, outspoken, doesn't put up the bullshit, uh, doesn't beat around the bush. You've got the, the, the woman or man underneath that who's kind of flexible, a little, little more on the powerful side, but a little more flexible. You've got somebody underneath that who's kind of calm and collective and, and not real pushy, not, not the, the driven leader. And you've got the person down here who's not a leader at all. They don't want to lead. Uh, they want to just you know, do things and, and be happy and, and have no stress, no drama. So, yeah, there's different, different levels. Uh, I've read many, many books that try and, and separate people into categories. Uh, I've seen many motivational seminars where they try and break people into categories. Uh, I read a book about uh, these two women who tried to categorize people into eight different, different categories. Uh, I read a book where they try and break people into 15, 20 different categories. I put people in two different categories. You're either on the team or you're in it for yourself. And this is a whole nother course we're gonna cover down the road. And this is a huge course because, and this is important to figure this out. When you're doing business, you need to figure out if someone's in it for themselves or they're in it for the team because your approach with them will be completely different. And I'll give you an example. If they're in it for themselves, it's literally all about them. If they're in it for the team, it's about everyone. So if you're approaching someone who's, who's only in it for themselves, then you want to sell them benefits that will help them. If they're in it for the team, they might volunteer. They might do other things for the community. So it's not just about them making money, but it's, hey, you could make money and you could use some of that money to help the uh, you know, homeless children or whatever they care about. So there is that, that yin and yang. There's people that are only in it for themselves, and you know these people. You've met them before. Uh, and, and there's people that are in it for the team. They actually care. So you got to figure out that balance. If someone's in it for themselves or they're in it for the team before you know how you can help them. And just because they're in it for themselves doesn't mean they're a bad person. Don't get me wrong. Right. Okay. I, I can give you a prime example. A single mom, she volunteers all the time. She does all types of events. She's the one that has the kids over at her house every weekend. Uh, and, and to most, it would look like she's just an amazing person. But the reason why she does it is because it makes her feel good to have all those people tell her thank you and how awesome she is. In the grand scheme of things, she's actually doing it for her own self-satisfaction. She's not actually doing it to be a good person. She's doing it to get that, that response from people to tell her how awesome she is and to say thank you. And, and I'd have to admit, uh, in the grand scheme of things, I'm, I'm just as selfish as a lot of other people. I'm more of a team player than I am in it for myself, but when I do things for the team, it's because I, I get that admiration. And I've, I've said this before, I'll say it again, the biggest thing I admire in the world is admiration.